If you cannot judge a vehicle by its performance, the only other quality to judge is its character and what's between its walls. Character comes in many forms, and in this case, a Twinkie on wheels. It's certainly not the best fit for the job, but it still gets it done. Like most of you watching this, we weren't quite up to date on the whole short bus market. So we did what anyone would do. We hopped on Craigslist. We looked at dozens of buses online, but none of them really had that fire or looked like they'd been on fire. Did something blow out the back end? I know. But after some more digging, we found the one. That is uh, everything I dreamed of right there. A quick test drive, a walkthrough, and $1,800 later, we were now the proud owners of a 1993 short bus. To most people, it's a rundown piece of trash. But to us, it's a blank canvas. A blank canvas for future fishing trips that can be improved upon with each adventure. This is Adam, Steve, Brian, and I. Most people would call us average fishermen. Just a beast. But we believe our time off the water makes up for where we lack. This is bus life. Gotta yeah, kill a fly. There he is. <laughs> beer, brown water, experimental food, it's all pretty much on par for a normal trip. I've had more beers than fish that I've caught today, which is dangerous. <laughs> Before we took the bus on any major trips, we needed to give it a test run. So after lots of planning and working through tiny details, we finally had a date and location set for our maiden voyage, the salmon fly hatch on the Henry's Fork. Oh, oh dude. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, just coming. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude. Man, that is uh, everything I dreamed of right there. It is ratchet. I mean, we're gonna be able to get all, all our stuff done. We'll be able to sleep in it. We'll be able to hang out in there. If we can get a kegerate in there at some point, I may just move out here and just live out of the van. Humble beginnings. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot longer than, than what I like thought. Yeah, it's bigger than, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not like really short bus size. So we bought it from this guy who lived up in uh, this a hippie dude that lived up in Salt Lake. Him and his buddies used to take this bus to Magic the Gathering tournaments. Steven, do you want to explain what that is? All right, kids. Um, I never played Magic the Gathering myself, so I'm probably going to butcher it. But it's like Pokemon for more intense people. So, uh, needless to say, it smelled pretty bad in here when uh, when we first got it. But kind of gutted the thing and redid it. And now we're, uh, we're living large in the short bus. <laughs> So yesterday, I met up with a good friend, Josh Brady from Brady's Handmade Nets, and he put together uh, two nets for our trip here that I haven't seen yet, and uh, we're about to see how they turned out. There. There we are. Well, if nothing else, I'd say the guy can package something. <laughs> oh, that looks freaking cool. awesome. So we got here our very own Short Plus Diaries logo, wood burned onto, onto the net, and I think we got a few other customizations on here as well. Got a slightly different logo on this one, right? Your the, the color. color, a little different uh, handle design as well. We're in Walmart here, stocking up my supplies. Uh, uh, right. That would be all those Mr. O'Meal. So we're on the cookie aisle now. We definitely need Chips Ahoy. I like the standard, but some people like the chewy a lot more. It's, it's a constant war for me. <laughs> Quick stop in Walmart, and I think we're ready to roll for the weekend. We're heading back to Adams, gonna get the bus prepped, get ready for, uh, for heading out tomorrow. PH, asshole. This is the only reason for the uh, whiteboard. 
is to count how many fish that Steven misses. He seems to come away from every fishing trip with definitely the most fish missed and the biggest fish. We can't like keep count of food or like anything else for our trip, so we have to keep count of something, so it might as well be Steve missing fish. Like, there's no other number that keeps increasing every trip. <laughs> I, I can't even talk. <laughs> We've got the raft on one side, Honda on the other, and uh, when we get up there, we're doing a rental boat. So our rental raft is just gonna sit kind of right here uh, in between the two. We'll be set and uh, ready to go fish. So here we are on day one. We're getting the bus kind of scruffed up here, kind of cleaning up the tools and organizing everything. Well, we got our temporary tag here because our tag has not come in from the state of Utah yet. Boom. Look at that. never taken the uh, bus on interstate before, and uh, holy cow, it's slow. It's zero to 60 time is roughly infinity because it doesn't exist, because I don't think this thing ever could go 60 miles an hour, unless maybe it was driving off a cliff. We are at the drift boat rental place and we are picking up another raft. Well, we're not 100% sure yet how we're gonna fit the second boat on here, but we will uh, get that figured out pretty soon. I've seen jankier stuff we've done work, so I have a lot of faith in this. I give this a uh, three on the hanks and six on the janks today. It's not as professionally done to get enough hanks, but it's definitely janky enough to get the janks in there. Uh, we're finally up here. It took us uh, a little bit longer than we thought to get up here with the uh, bus. We were, you know, running at 45, 50 most of the way. We got up here about, what, five or so, and we're like, you know what, let's go hit the water. So Adam found us a nice short float here for us, and um, we're hauling the boats down right now. Oh, oh, damn. That was a good, that was a good fish, yeah. He flashed at it. It was like right in this middle. Oh, there it is. Oh! Come out of the there. That was heavy, man. Go ahead and uh, put that one on the whiteboard. <laughs> oh, God, dude. I might have to get back in the sticks, yeah. Come on. Oh, no. Break it. God damn it, dude. I'm gonna let you have it. I'm completely unprepared today. Don't have any of my fly fishing stuff. So while Adam was dropping off the shuttle, I raided his equipment flies because all i have is nymphs with me so he's got some of these new sculpting patterns he's been tying up some experimental ones and so i grabbed a, a handful of those i've lost three of them already but we're not telling him that we really need something white we got a good report saying white was working and scotty just uh missed a couple and then threw it into the tree so we're retying here there we go nice and juicy uh, and we're home immediately well we'll break that one off I need that in my life. That was a cast there. Oh, there we go. Good one. Oh, shit. He's, he's a good one. Oh, there we go. Didn't that. I told you I was going to give him a good fly, didn't I? Well, we're good, because he's done. <laughs> First one on the board for the trip. Let's get ready to start. Hey, that's a 
locked in, I guess. We're stuck in the bus, man. Just a bunch of grown men in a you, short bus. Just, <laughs> I called the futon before we had one, knowing that it was probably going to be short, and I'd be the best suited for it. Your boy Adam over here hooks me up for $25 on Craigslist with this masterpiece of a park bench pallet setup, which I was hating on at first. But once I figured out what was going on with it, I was like, this is legit. And I have an end table now. So I'm about to over here to get my gummy worms, and I'm going to f to sleep like a grown man. Got up this morning, a little bit of snow, made some coffee, and it's gonna taste good. There you go. He's like, save money and everything else. So this is kind of our test run for the bus. We didn't know 100% how it was gonna work. I haven't driven it a lot. So we do have the truck as a backup vehicle. We just don't trust the bus yet. So we're starting to build trust in it, but I had the truck as a backup vehicle. Uh, obviously it's a good thing we did because uh, we would have been hanging out at the camp today. Well, we've got less than ideal conditions today. I don't think any of us were really expecting snow. So for this trip, we've got uh, two different rafts. So we've got two guys in one boat, two guys in the other. We decided that we would need some walkie talkies. Uh, this is the Rocky talkie. Uh, they're absolutely awesome. It's a, as you can see, it's a terrible weather day. These things have been like soaking wet all day. Still work perfectly. We decided to get some walkie talkies because uh, especially be really easy to communicate with each other uh, across the river. Calling in a sandwich drop. About 200 yards down the river. Steve is about to toss in this rapid over here to the right. <laughs> Just, uh, we're gonna flood them down to you, okay? Roger, roger, 10-4 over now. Uh, these things have been absolutely critical in talking <laughs> to about your friends from the other side of the river. Uh, fantastic for critiquing casting. Uh, as long as you're far enough away from them that they can't hit you. Uh, that's been absolutely clutch. Oh, there's fish. Go to fish. Good job, good job. There it is. <laughs> Had to lean back. Hey, fish on! Got a little cup bow here. Brian and I switched over to the nymph. Got something on the board. Yep, I got a fish. Nice one. Back in the water. Oh, there it is. Oh, dude. Exactly where it should be. Nope. Not either. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Oh my gosh. Yep, good fish. Oh, he's jumping. Yeah, that's a good fish. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Woo. We're right upstream from the boat ramp, but I put a cast in and thought it was a rock. And uh, sure enough, was not a rock. 
Not bad for uh, for my standards, but definitely not the biggest fish in the river. We just got off the water. Obviously, it, it, it's rained all day. It, it snow, rain. Well, we had it all. Our short bus is right here. We got this awesome little campsite, but we decided to uh, grab this cabin tonight. I mean, it has rained all day. Everything that we own is soaked all the way to the bone and uh, would have been <laughs> probably a little rough hanging out just in the bus with that much wet. We got some lemon pepper wings going. Just drop some, uh, drop some wings. We're gonna fry them up real nice and gold. And uh, tell you what, this is the best food to have when you're camping. Dude, we got, we got some chicken wings fried in some vegetable oil. I'm sure it's very good for, uh, for the body, but I know it's going <laughs> to taste damn good. Soul, give me some more, right give me some more, give me some more. Powder that up, powder that up. What does it look like I'm doing? Well, you were just yes. in one place, so I was just going around. Help distribute it. Okay, that's, wow, that's, that's powder. There you are. If you're coughing, it's because I'm dying in here. <laughs> you want to know a secret? Second batch is always better, because now it's flavored. You got the seasoning from the last batch, plus you got some like chicken grease in there now. Give the people you don't like the, the food first. We're getting ready to take it to the put in. Um, First, we're gonna have to drag these rafts around this gate here and up a little road out there, probably a couple hundred yards. Um, that's gonna be the worst part, mainly because we're it's not a steep incline, but we're definitely going uphill. After that, it'll be pretty nice and easy for us because it'll be slide down. Pretty much gravity will be helping us that way. Come on. That's fun. Should do that more often. Yeah, every day you might be in shape now. Maybe. We've actually gotten two of the boat slides, so all that dragging to finally drop the boats in, which will take us down to the river. Already got down to the water, we're seeing some uh, stone flies out, so we're gonna rig up a couple of uh, stone fly droppers. Really the play is hopefully later this afternoon we catch some catch some salmon flies popping off. It's supposed to warm up, sun's supposed to come out, and uh, hopefully we can we can get on some big bugs. Catch a 20 inch round right there. Oh, <laughs> Came up. Look, he's eating. Oh, they're eating indicators. So the time has come. Dry flies, baby. We had a bunch of fish try to eat our indicator. So I think that's a good indication that we need to switch to dry flies. Tied up some salmon flies. Yeah, we got some bugs. We're going to uh, uh, see if they work. First one, baby, on the board. Wow. Oh! That's it, that's it. Wow, nailed it. There we go, just a little bow. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, I just caught that. Oh, 
Beautiful morning. Uh, we were able to switch over to throwing drives fairly quickly after they started hitting our indicators. And probably about an hour or so of that, good fishing, caught some really nice fish. It just kind of shut down on us as the clouds in front moved in. We just stopped seeing insect life popping off. The sun's poking back out here. Maybe the weather will turn for the better here in the afternoon and uh, see if we can't catch a few fish here before we take out. Good fish. That's a really good fish. He's not having it. <laughs> but I've lost him there, dude. Get I don't even know how to hold a fish. That's <laughs> bad. Pick him, boy. We put on a big old girdle bug. Of course, within the first. Uh, 10 minutes or so, we got got into a good one. So. I'm taking a nap on the front. All of a sudden there's a boom in front of me. And I'm just like, oh gosh, and next thing I know I had a fish on. Gave it the vim and vigor. Oh yeah. I want to know what people think when they pull in and see a short box. That looks like so ridiculous. It is beautiful. We're making some spaghetti. We've got some sausages on the uh, on the cast iron skillet here. Which we're about to get these rolling. Now uh, we've been getting our noodles going, so we need to test these and see how they're how they're doing if they're ready. So the best way to do that when you're short bussing. So you just like get one of those noodles and just throw it right there. If it sticks, it's time to eat. Well, that's how you make authentic Italian spaghetti probably. Oh, it's delicious, man. We uh we had one hell of a work today just to get the boots down to the water. I've been starving all day. I think everybody else was and this is like chicken noodle soup for my soul. It's delicious. <laughs> Alright, well let me get back to it because if, if I have to do this any longer and keep talking instead of eating, I might stab someone with a plastic bag. <laughs> Alright, we're back in the bus. Just got settled back in. Got the boys back here. Snacking. Steve's all comfy in his futon. Dude, I'm living life to its fullest right now. Well, so today we uh, had some pretty dang good luck with a salmon fly pattern that I made. So, tonight we're going to whip up a few more of those. This is a work in progress table. The goal for this series is to build on the bus and improve it each video that we do. Our original plan is having a tying table, which we could not get. So the Yeti is going to work for now. We're going to have to pump those out a little bit faster, Adam. Hey, I just want you to appreciate it so that when I hand you one, you don't just immediately throw it in a tree. <laughs> He's got a point. Adam's slinging shade tonight. It works. Yeah. Getting there. She running now. Dude, that's what I like to hear right there. We short busted. Well, the speedometer and the RPM are not working this morning. I don't know if it's uh, some moisture in the views or what. It'll read right for a minute and then it resets. Now it's reading right. And here in just a second again, it's gonna go back down. So we're just dropping the bus here at the takeout. We're gonna hop in the other truck, run up, and uh, drop it at the slide like we did yesterday. 
guys, we just got to the boat ramp here. Uh, again, the gate's closed today as well, so we've got to drag the boats through a campground to get to the slide to get to the river. Today we have a native, our buddy Brody decided to join us on the river, and uh, hopefully we can get into a bunch more fish today. Now we just got the uh, dangerous part. Not hard, just dangerous. All right, here's where it gets spooky. Yep. Hey, Steven, these salmon flies are having a lot more action than you are. That's what we caught everything on this trip. Is that yours? It's dirty. Tied those up last night. There's a tying station on the bus. It's a Yeti cooler with a bottle of Jack Daniels next to it. Yeah. On the girdle, baby. Oh, uh, he just took the real one, but not mine. Oh, sh yeah. I just pulled him over. I literally just horsed him over the fing tree. Good brown. Good brown. Yeah. We, uh, we started drinking more beer. Uh, the less fish you catch, the more beer you drink. And I feel like that's a negative relationship that kind of gets in this downward spiral. We have drank more beer than we've caught fish. <laughs> I've had more beers than fish that I've caught today, which is dangerous. That was an awesome whitefish, Steven. I loved it. There it is. That's a good fish. Uh, brown, looks like. That was very textbook. Finally, man. Yeah. Sweet, dude. Good net, man. It'd be loud, huh? Hell yeah. It's not a fish at all. No, it's nice and fat. Pretty. We had a little log jam, which we've been putting our flies in all day. And finally, got this one to come up and sip it. Not bad fish. See ya. Sweet. All right, let's do this. All right, so. Finally just got off the water. Our float went a little bit long today, so while they're getting everything ready uh, to drop back off at the rental place, we're headed on out to Salt Lake City because we're the uh, weakest link in the chain, so we need to get rolling. They'll catch up with us later. Hey, you got a little surprise on your hat. Got a little buddy up here? Oh, I do. Little uh, memento for the day here. All right, let's get this thing started. What is, oh, come on, right. No one saw that. <laughs> no one saw that. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so, so much for watching, especially if you've made it this far. As we mentioned, this is just the beginning of the series. We've got so many other cool ideas that we wanna do with the bus and different trips we wanna take. And in fact, our next trip 
which is a lot closer than you guys think, is already planned, it's already booked, and it's gonna be a lot more epic. So we are really looking forward to that. We are currently in the midst of building out the bus and putting improvements on it, but we would love to hear from you guys to see what sort of things you would like to see in the bus. It can be ridiculous, it can be not ridiculous, it can be whatever, but leave a comment below and let us know what you think we should uh, we should add in the bus. Also, if you are interested in supporting the series, we are doing a limited time merch line for the short bus. Uh, and all of that is going to be linked below on our website. Uh, our friends at Blue Truck Outdoors are going to be putting together the apparel line and they just did our hats and they turned out so good. So if you guys want to support that way, that would be awesome. All of the proceeds we make are going to be going directly into uh, improvements in the bus and into the productions. Otherwise, we would appreciate you guys sharing this uh, with your friends, sharing it on social media and just letting us know what you think. Subscribe if you guys want to see more of this because uh, we've got a lot more coming with, uh, with the short bus and I, I hope you guys are ready. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next trip.